Hello everyone, I'm Nadim and welcome to the fifth tutorial of making a math game. Um, in this tutorial we'll be making, uh, we'll be adding score and um, we will we will play a sound, a uh, correct sound or incorrect sound, whether we chose the right or wrong answer. Okay, so let's get started. First we will need to create um, a score float, so public dot score and this is very simple actually so whenever it's correct we will just um, score plus equals um, let's say two times time so um, whenever they, ch they choose the correct answer um, faster they will get more points and do the same here, minus equals um, one times, or just times, or no, let's make it um, 15. Okay, so this is uh, the score value, changes whenever we choose the right or correct answer. Uh, we just have to display it on screen now. left twenty and then the font I used and white and here overflow and same in the horizontal. Okay great I'm just gonna place it better see how it looks like. Maybe 25 here. Okay, um, I think it should be less like this. 25 and 25. Okay, so we will we will we will refer to the uh, score text now. So public text, um, not like this text score and then text okay great um so score text dot text equals score and then make sure to to make a space and then plus score dot dot string great you want it to be um, an integer you can just do this if you want it to look like a float you can um, use it as well I will I will use um, integer okay just copy paste and then paste it over here so it updates um, whenever you chose uh, right or wrong answer uh, let's assign it and see how it goes Minus 30, 29. Okay, great. Um, um, we should add um, the, the sounds now. So put um, public audio first. First um, source, and we need also this audio um, and we need two audio clips so public audio clip array um, clips equals new audio clip and then two great um, the first the first one will be the correct one and the second will be the incorrect 
So whenever we choose the correct answer, we just play the sound of course, but play one shot and then um, clip, split, first value, which is the correct um, sound. And just copy this, paste it over here and change this to one. Uh, okay, great. So now we have the sound working too. Uh, oh, we have to assign the audio source. Source, so source. You can just add it in the editor, but um, you can do it like this too. So game object dot add component and then audio source. Uh, clip source. Okay, great. So we just assign the clips and then we are ready to go. Um, I think this is the. Uh, this is the correct sound you can get them online uh, this is the incorrect sound um, let's try it as you can see it works okay great and the color also works primary works changing uh, numbers works let's just save this and um, another thing we might need um, is changing the score um, color so we might do this in the update function or or also here uh, I think it works so whenever you press a button you will check uh, if if the score is low or above zero so if score is above zero then um, Score text dot image sorry dot image or how it how it's done dot color I guess no dot image no wait oh that's oh that's for buttons too so let's just see how we can change that. color equals color um, dot green because it's um, it's a positive value otherwise or else uh, just copy this and change this to red okay let's see how it goes you can you can um, put this in the update fun uh, function but in case as you can see score is green and then it's red okay great so i'm just gonna update um or make it better the score text and just add like this it will be better um so i guess uh, that's it for this tutorial um i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching everyone and subscribe for more peace